Good morning. It's Wednesday, June the 16th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kondakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced show, bringing you the best press releases along with the halts at the open so that you can open profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. I have two press releases for you this morning, one out of the U.S. side, one out of the Canadian side, and I've got no halts to report on. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story comes out of a company called Fire River Gold. They trade on the TSX Venture under the symbol FAU. They're no stranger to Agoracom TV and disclaimer time. They aren't a Agoracom client. However, as always, the news stands on its own two feet, and we recommend that you do your due diligence in each one of the companies that you see on this show before purchasing. So now the disclaimers are out of the way. Let's get down to business. Fire River Gold is announcing high-grade gold results uh, at their Nixon Fork property, which is located in Alaska. They've got high-grade asset results from the ongoing reevaluation program on its Nixon Fork Gold Mine project. Uh, we've got some highlights, which include hole number 53, which returned 27 grams per ton of gold over 24 meters, so great results there. Included within that, we've got more concentrated intercepts of 30 grams per ton of gold over 5.1 meters and 82 grams per ton of gold over 3.8 meters, and that's all in hole number 53. Additionally, we've got hole number 49, which returned 110 grams per ton of gold over 6.7 meters. Now, additionally, we've got results pending for 28, uh, 28 additional underground holes and seven additional surface holes, which should be coming out in the coming weeks. Uh, the 2010 drill campaign is scheduled to begin in late June, so just around the corner. And finally, the company is anticipating a resource update in the fall of 2010, so a couple months away. A little bit about Fire River. They're a near-term production company with a superior technical team focused on bringing its flagship project, the Nixon Fork Gold Mine, back into production within the next 12 months. And the Nixon Fork Gold Mine is fully permitted in bonded gold mine with past production values averaging 1.4 ounces per ton. Companies last at 42.5 cents, high of 75 cents, low of 34 cents market cap of only 13 million dollars now moving on to our next company we're going south of the border china acm they trade on the nasdaq under the symbol cadc they're a former goracom client uh, they're a, a provider of ready mix concrete and related technical services in china today they're announcing that they've uh, landed a contract with china rail construction group who awarded them the contract which is valued at approximately two and a half million dollars. China ACM will be providing their premium ready mix concrete product uh, and manufacturing services for a section of the high speed passenger uh, railway. Company is last at four dollars and nine cents, high of 850, low of 230, mark cap of approximately 67 million dollars. That's wrap for today's show. Thanks for joining us. Make sure to join us again here tomorrow. We've got more great press release and halts at the open for you.